cordless tire inflator. Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Good moto morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Kraken's Garage. Today we're gonna to do a tool review of a Ryobi One Plus Series tire inflator that can be bought on, on the cheap, very inexpensive. This will be a very quick review, uh, a quick down and dirty, so let's get to the video. Most of us have uh, cordless tools in our garage uh, for various reasons. Normally the normal things are like drills, impact wrenches, uh, I have uh, Milwaukee branded. I also have Makita. These tools have served me well. Rigid is a house brand for Home Depot, and then I also have a few DeWalt's. I consider several of those brands to be top shelf, and uh, when I buy top shelf, it's because I know I'm gonna be using them a heck of a lot more than I'll be using a Ryobi tool, which is on the lower end of the spectrum. I bought this, I don't know, six months to a year ago and I paid $25 for it, and that did not come with the battery or the charger. I have some other uh, uh, Ryobi tools that I have batteries for, so the tool was 25 bucks and it does the job just fine. The argument in my garage is uh, to hook up my air compressor, hook up the hose, uncoil it, drag it over, trip over it, hook up the air nozzle to get it inside the spokes of my bikes, especially the Harley, uh, you have to remove the bag, fish around and find where the valve stem is in between the spokes and to put that type of uh, fitting on my bike is is miserable it's 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 painful i usually walk away with bloody knuckles so this particular one the ryobi power inflator is uh like i said on the lower end of the spectrum you can get much nicer ones that have auto cutoffs uh, some people carry battery operated ones on their bike so they can fill up on the go when they're traveling i do not i carry a uh, tire patch kit that has co2 cartridges so in the event of an emergency i could fill my tire on the go if i have to that said the co2 cartridges uh, tire filling system is very small and easy to uh, stow on the bike i'm a minimalist when i'm traveling on two wheels i use this device to pump up my tractor tires, four motorcycle tires, and two cars, and uh, of course various bicycles, uh, uh, rafts for the lake, uh, even a football if need be. The model of this particular pump is a P737D, as in David. It touts that it can fill up uh, tires up to 150 PSI. I think that's a reach. That's a hell of a lot of pressure for a device this small. But will it take care of everything I have in my garage for the amount of money I have in it? Absolutely. One of the things I like about it is it has storage on it for the uh, raft inflator, your football inflator, all of that tucks right inside here. They're normally the first things that you lose when you purchase something like this. Unless they're attached to the actual device, I almost always lose them, that's me. It has an illuminated uh, digital readout. No, it does not have the auto cutoff when you get to the desired tire pressure. The hose is 20 inches long and it also stows in the handle with a hole to hang it up on your pegboard or whatever in your garage. That I kind of appreciate. Uh, kind of fold it down and tuck it away when I throw it into my toolbox. It has the typical Schrader valve connector. You don't have to screw it on. You just push it on and close the lever and she seals up nicely. So it makes it super easy to uh, fill up the motorcycle tires in between spokes and cast aluminum rims. The number one item I was looking for when I purchased one of these was a right angle on the uh, Schrader valve to make it easier to uh, attach onto the bikes. Let's be honest here, for your amount of money, you're not getting a whole lot. It has a very small compressor with a very small piston and uh, it's gonna take a minute to fill up a, a tire on your car or truck from dead flat Will it do it? Yes, it will. Does it get hot? Yes, it does. And you need to let it cool down in between each one of your tires if you're filling four flat tires on an automobile. On a motorcycle, it's no issue. I could do every uh, bike in my garage and not even think twice about it overheating regarding uh, filling up uh, 
eight tires at the same time back to back. I let the air out of the uh, tire completely on my car. No, I'm not gonna put you through watching all of that. So in this particular case, this is not a high volume air pump, but a high pressure one to go up to a series pound pressure. Uh, ledged 150 pounds. No, I've not tested that. It's a great tool to pick up uh, during Father's Day or Mother's Day when all the big box stores put their tools on sale. Uh, so something to think about that's coming up for the holidays coming up in the near future. So why am I suggesting this one? Um, any of them will do. Milwaukee has one. Rigid has one. Uh, all the major players in the uh, cordless battery tool game have one. Uh, that's available. You can spend north of $100 on a tire inflator that has auto shut off and all these, uh, you know, cool stuff on it. I don't need it. I'm just, I just want to fill my tire. I'm not filling up mass quantities of air, so it's no problem for me to stand there and look at the gauge on the back and fill my tire in a timely manner. So those options don't really interest me. And the good news is, is that uh, your, your LiPo batteries, you uh, continue to use them year round, which is the best thing you can do to keep LiPo batteries healthy. There's a serious problem when you don't use them for six months and then you go to use them, the cycle power goes way, way down. And then in some cases will actually kill the battery. And that the major cost of any of these cordless tools are the batteries. So this is not meant as a hard sale for this specific brand, all of them will do. The takeaway for every one of you is if you have power tools in your garage of any brand, uh, it is really convenient to have this and zip zip and get on the road so it doesn't turn into a 20 minute ordeal to hook up the hose to your uh, pot belly uh, compressor or your regular compressor and top off your tires. Makes it super easy with this type of uh, valve connection and you have enough length to get to where you need to go and it cycles your batteries year round if you use it year round. This particular tool has served me well for six months to a year and it hasn't skipped a beat. Have I gotten my $25 worth? Yes. If you buy this with the battery and the charger, you're looking at $100. Then there's where I become uh, thrifty and I don't think it's worth the value of the money as a standalone, unless you do a lot of tire filling, that's up to you. I don't do that much to justify a $100 bill for it. So like I said, look for the standalone tool without the battery and charger for your charging system. You'll be able to uh, fill your tires up quickly on the go as you're heading out the door, which you should be checking every single time you go out for a run. So if you're already invested in Ryobi, yes, I definitely recommend this uh, particular tool. It is, uh, It does come with a three-year manufacturer warranty, but you do have to go onto their website and log on and validate your tool's warranty at date of purchase. If you don't do that, you do not have a warranty. So there's my quick review of this particular tool. I hope it helps somebody or maybe gets you thinking about how to uh, get the right tools in your garage to uh, pave the road to a successful and seamless ride every time you go out of your garage. And with that said, there's Bullet. There's my ghost dog. He's here to remind me to wrap up this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner. And remember, folks, go ride it because it's good for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.